My name is Sahira, and I'm here to teach you the beautiful art of belly dance. So now let's go ahead and dive in and start looking at some of the most popular basic patterns to play with your finger symbols on their own or on the top of music, be it belly dance music or any other kind of music that you choose to dance to. We're going to first start with the concept of 16th note runs. So this is just 16th notes are continuous 16th note strokes. We know that 16th notes are a subdivision of four in the beat. So these are pretty fast. And this is kind of where the finger symbols lie in terms of speed. So we get four strokes for every beat of the music. So when we play these, we're going to continuously alternate. We're going to stick with our basic stroke and we're going to work with it at a variety of different tempo markings. So we'll first start out with our zills in a beautiful position. Arms are nice and strong. Remember, do not ever change your beautiful belly dance arms when you put your finger symbols on, right? You really want to keep the arms just as lovely as they've always been and watch out for T-Rex arms or chicken arms, as I like to call them. Watch out for those. Make sure you still have those shoulders rolled back and down, energy from the shoulders all the way to the tips of the fingers, that middle finger slightly dropped because then of course, our zills are a little bit closer together. So let's go ahead and look at how that is going to work. Let's say if we are marking a simple beat with our body. So if our body is going one, two, three, four, doing a step, touch, step, Touch, stills go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a right, left, 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 right, left. Yes, continuously alternating will be the easiest way to make this symbol pattern come out fairly quickly. We're going to start nice and slow, and then we're going to go ahead and drill it with a metronome to see where we end up. All right, taking it nice and slow. Finding your posture, taking a nice deep breath. If we go five, six, seven, eight, we're here. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a alternating, trying to keep it nice and even. Would you like to move your arms? Give it a try. marking with the body. Maybe a figure eight. Don't forget to breathe. And pause. Nicely done. Now let's go ahead and try that same drill with a metronome. A metronome is an amazing way to work with your finger symbols because it really allows you to see when you're making progress with tempo and it also keeps you super honest with staying on the tempo. So we're going to do a lot of metronome work. Let's go ahead and start with this at 60 and see how it feels. All right, so I have our metronome on 60, which you can hear is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is one beat per second. And so our 16th notes on top of this are going to go like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, yes, six, seven, eight. Move the arms, here we go. Now mark with the body.
figure eight. Move the arms. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Pause. I hope you enjoyed this finger symbol lesson, Zillstar. If you did, please be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And then be sure to check out my finger symbol jumpstart course if you are ready to take your Zill skills to the next level and become the Zill star that you were meant to be. You can find it at sahirabellydances.com slash Zill star. This is a free jumpstart course that will take what you've learned here to the next level and help you level up your Zill skills today. Thank you so much. And I look forward to making music with you on the dance floor soon.